Hello guys, welcome to Octocoder. In this video, we are going to learn data types in JavaScript. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the different types of data that you can use in JavaScript and how to work with them. We will learn step by step. So keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so please hit the subscribe button right now. There are two kinds of data types in JavaScript. First is primitive and non-primitive. Primitive and non-primitive data types. The first type of data we'll be discussing are primitive data types in JavaScript. There are five primitive data types in JavaScript. First one is number. Second is string. Third is boolean. Fourth is null and fifth is undefined let's start with the number i'm going to create here one new file for the data types i'm going to give the file name data types dot js so let's start with the number data type in javascript number are used to represent numeric value you can use number for both integer and floating point numbers for example where num1 equal to 5 and console.log num1 save this file i have already installed the code runner so i'm going to click on the code runner this icon so i'll get the javascript output see we got the 5 so this is the integer value we can represent or you can use as a floating number for example like where num2 equal to 10.5 and console.log and now to save this file again run we will get the output as a floating numbers so that's how to declare number in javascript next up is string data type string are used to represent sequence of characters such as words or sentences you can use single quote or double quotes to define string in javascript so let's see the example where str equal to you can use a single quote like this welcome to octocoder and console.log str so this file and run again so you will get the output welcome to octocoder or you can use double code like this please subscribe octocoder and console.log str2 we are we will get the output welcome to octocoder and please subscribe octocoder so that's how you can use either single code or double code next type is boolean data types boolean is a next data type now you'll learn Booleans are used to represent true or false value. You can use keyword true or false to create a Boolean value in JavaScript. So let's take an example where is true equal to true. Console save this file and you will get true or you can use false. Save this file again run this file so you will get the false output the next primitive data type is null the value null represents the intentional absence of any object value you can use the keyword null to create a null value in javascript for example let's see the practical where my null equal to give the value null save and print console.log save this file and run the code so see you will get the null a value as the output because there is nothing assigned so that's the null data types finally we have undefined data types the value undefined is used when a variable has been declared but has not assigned a value for example 
where my undefined we are just need to declare the variable name so see this is the variable has been declared but has not been assigned any value so let's see what will be the output control save and see we will get the output as undefined so these are the five primitive data types number string boolean null and undefined there is in addition to primitive data types javascript also have non-primitive data types these are object second is arrays and function we'll be discussing these in more details in future video so these are the data types in javascript so let's check what is chat gpt is saying about the data types in javascript as i told you before we are going to use chat gpt in this course so let's ask chat gpt about data types in in javascript let's see chat gpt what will give the answer so see the chat GPT also is giving same what I have already taught. The primitive data types string, number, boolean, null, and undefined. And there are he has given the reference data type as the non-primitive data types. These are the non-primitive data types, object, array, and function. So we will be discussing these in more details in the future video. Consider ChatGPT as your friend and you can ask anything to ChatGPT. ChatGPT AI tool is very helpful nowadays. So in this program, we will be using ChatGPT a lot of. And that's it for this tutorial on data types in JavaScript. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe octocoder youtube channel thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video okay.